the sign from the beginning. Ah. In 1600 to 1657, pocket watches changed in the 17th century and men began to wear watches in their pockets instead of as pendants. The women's watch remained a pendant into the 20th century. This is said to have occurred in 1675 when Charles II of England introduced waistcoats. To fit in pockets, their shape evolved into typical pocket watch shapes, rounded and flattened with no sharp edges. Glass was used to cover the face beginning around 1610. Watch fobs began to be used, the name originating from the German word Fupe, a small pocket. The watch was wound and also set <coughs> by opening the back and fitting a key to a square arbor and turning it. Timekeeping mechanisms in these early pocket watches was the same ones used in clocks invented in the 13th century. The Verge escapement, which drove a foliot and dumbbell-shaped bar with weights on the ends, it was too many long words now, <laughs> The force provided by a spring is not constant, but decreases as the spring unwinds. The rate of all timekeeping mechanisms is affected by changes in their drive force, but the primitive verge and foliot mechanism was especially sensitive to these changes. So early watches slowed down during their running period as the main spring ran down. This problem, called lack of isochronism, plagued plagued mechanical two devices to do this had appeared in the first clock watches the stack freed and the fuse the stack freed a spring loaded cam on the main spring shaft added a lot of friction and was abandoned after about a century the fuse was a much more lasting idea a curving conical pulley with a chain wrapped around it attached to the main spring barrel. It changed the leverage as the spring unwound, equalizing the drive force. Fuses became standard in all watches and were used until the early 19th century. The foliot was also gradually replaced with the balance wheel, which had a high movement of inertia for its size, allowing better timekeeping. Right, I hardly understood any of that, but um, it sounded very interesting and I'm sure someone who knows more about watches than I do understood it better than, than myself. But um, yeah, when I look at watches, I just kind of look at how they look, like if they look pretty, if they go with my outfit, if they go with my bag, if they go with my shoes, you know, just if they go with what I'm wearing, basically. Um, yeah, and then I was saying before that I have a glow-in-the-dark watch, which is quite exciting, but the only thing is you have to charge it before you use it. So you have to put it under a big bright light and just leave it there for about 10 minutes or so, and then it glows in the dark for about an hour or so, and then it just starts dying out. So if you were to lose it, you probably would wouldn't find it because it wouldn't glow anymore, which is a bit useless. So I guess that was a hundred and sixty odd pound that wasn't really well spent, but it looks good, so it's all good. Um, also, um, I have a sister who lives in New Zealand, um, two little nephews as well, which I absolutely love, and my sister-in-law here, and my, my brother's here, and They've got, I've got another nephew, they have a son as well, and I love him too. There's Jadens and Aidens and Kaylas is running around all over the place causing havoc, which is what kids do, but um, I love playing with them and they're just so adorable. Um, yeah, so at the moment my dad's looking after Jaden. I don't know how he's going to be coping with that because he doesn't feed the baby, he doesn't know how to change the baby. And he plays with the baby, but, you know, it's, there's only so much playtime and so much, so much you can just stick them in front of a TV. But it's all good. I'm sure he'll be fine. Um, today was actually my day off. So, but it was, it was so, so cold outside. It's absolutely freezing. And um, 
right now I'm just feeling really hot and I have to wear this shawl because I'm not allowed to wear green and blue and I didn't know that and I'm wearing green and blue so now I have to suffer and wear this shawl over me and I'm just feeling really hot right now but um, hopefully this won't take too long and I can take it off. <laughs> um, I can hear my sister-in-law laughing in the background. She's come here to um, keep me bubbly and keep me sane because I get a bit crazy sometimes. Um, and also, you know, luckily she was here because my phone died and I could use her phone to navigate to find this place because we got so, so lost, um, but we found it eventually, which is good, although we were frozen. Um, yeah, so um, I like Cocoa Pops. I haven't had Cocoa Pops in quite a while. <laughs> it's one of my favorite cereals to eat in the morning, but I hardly eat Cocoa Pops because it's full of sugar and it's full of chocolate and it's just so fattening. So I stick to wheat a bit which is boring and plain but it does the job gives you energy um i love coffee um i was actually trying to find a costa on the way here because i needed a coffee and it was so cold outside but the they had all them little places where you know you, they have the little espresso espresso machines and stuff but it just doesn't taste the same as when you actually see someone make a coffee for you. Yeah, that was just a very irrelevant thing to say, but you know, it's the first thing that came to my head. Um, I like painting my nails. I always do my nails. I paint my nails like once a week. Um, I always do this new thing where you, know, you, you keep one a different color to all the others, just to kind of mix it up a bit. Um, I play around with loads of different colors, purples, greens, blues, every single colour you can think of, um, which is makes, it makes looking at your hands a bit more fun, I guess, because people don't really look at their hands, I don't think, or do they? I don't know. Um, I like Wagamama's. Wagamama's is yummy. Um, I, yeah, Wagamama's is really nice. I might go there tonight, actually, depending on where I am, or how long I'm sitting here talking to you. <laughs> um, I, I like watching EastEnders. I have about six hours of EastEnders to catch up on at the moment because I'm just always working, I'm so busy, just doing stuff, meeting my friends. You know, I'm always out and about. It's just Not that I don't like being at home, but you know, I'm, I think like I'm, I'm an outdoorsy kind of person. I like, you know, going to new places and trying new foods and trying new drinks and shopping and, you know, just wasting my money on unnecessary things like a £2,000 bag, which I really, really, really want. It's a Chanel one. And hopefully S Santa gets me one for Christmas because I think I've been really good this year. But we'll see what happens. Um, oh, the light is really bright. <laughs> I should have bought my sunglasses. <laughs> um, what else do I like? I like Mustangs, the car, um, all American muscle. Um, I went to a car show a few years ago and I saw one there and I just went crazy because it's like my favorite car ever. And I love watching Gone in 60 Seconds. That's my favorite movie. Um, like the chase right at the end. It's just, it's just, I don't know, it's just, it's just next level. It's just amazing. I love it. Um, although I don't think I could drive like that. If I had a six liter engine car, I don't think I would utilize its, its horsepower to the extent that it's supposed to be used at. But you know, you never know, we'll see. Um, uh, support Arsenal. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm not like a hardcore football supporter. You know, I've kind of been forced into supporting Arsenal, so that's just who I support now. I still actually support my local team, which is West Ham. My dad supports West Ham. Um, my brother supports Liverpool. I don't know 
how he got from London to Liverpool, but you know, everyone to their own. Um, I, I love cricket. I absolutely love, love cricket. It's like the best sport. Everyone thinks it's so boring, but I, I just love it. I think it's one of the best sports. Obviously, test matches do drag a bit. And India did lose the other day, really, really bad. But um, I love cricket. Cricket is the best. Two years ago, when the, the cricket was here, I went to about six games in like two weeks, and it was like the best two weeks of my life. It was just great. And then, yeah, and then when they won the World Cup last year, that was just another crazy, crazy day. I, it was like one of the best days of my life. I think it will probably be more exciting watching cricket than celebrating getting married or something. <laughs> That's how much I love cricket. Um, yeah, but yeah, cricket. It's a good sport. I don't play it. I used to play it. I went to, um, I was, I went to like training when I was in year five or something. And I was like one of the only girls there. And I was just like, oh well, I, I show all these boys up. And I did. I got a